Hello, students. Welcome to the second lecture of chemical thermodynamics. In the first lecture, we uh, studied about what is the meaning of chemical thermodynamics and which are the laws which are governing the thermodynamics chapter. As we know that the heat flow is necessary for a conversion of a matter into work energy and also all different forms of energy has the ability to finally convert into heat and heat has the ability to convert into all different forms of energy directly or indirectly. This is what we have seen in the last lecture. Now today's lecture will be based on some basic concepts, terms used in thermodynamics. Okay, So let's start with those basic terms and the concepts used in thermodynamics. The first basic term and concept used in thermodynamics is system and surrounding. So we'll talk about system and surrounding. Now what is system and what is surrounding? So first of all, where the part of the universe, the entire universe, the part of the universe, which is under thermodynamic studies, thermodynamic consideration that will be called as system. And the area outside the system will be called as surrounding and system plus surrounding is equivalent to universe. So you need to remember this point. Okay, any part of the universe, which is under thermodynamic consideration. Okay. Make note of all these points. I won't write much. But whatever I say, you make note of these points. These are very, very important for uh, building up the basic of thermodynamics. So system is any part of the universe which is under thermodynamic consideration, under a heat flow, under the energy change. That is called a system. And the area outside the system is called a surrounding. For example, a human being is a system. So the area outside us is called as a surrounding. Okay, So any part of the universe under thermodynamic consideration is called a system. For example, I'll give you a very simple example to understand this. For example, if I, uh, if I consider a beaker, okay, um, suppose this beaker is filled with water and I'm going to, uh, suppose it fills with water and I'm going to warm it up. So there will be a flow of heat because of which more number of molecules will undergo a, a, you can say evaporation process. So I will just warm it up. So when you're warming up, warming it up, there will be a flow of heat due to which the water will vaporize. So can I say that the area inside the beaker is under thermodynamic consideration. So that is why this will be called as system and the area outside the beaker will be called as surrounding. Okay. And the system plus surrounding system, system plus surrounding is equal to universe. You need to remember this. Okay. So system plus surrounding is equal to what universe. So you have to put the Okay, any part which is under thermodynamic consideration will be called a system and system plus surrounding will be equal to universe. Now, now remember a system and a surrounded is separated by a boundary. Now this boundary can be a real boundary or can be an imaginary boundary. For example, a human being is a system. We exchange matter heat with the surrounding our skin is the boundary which is porous in nature which can exchange matter which can exchange heat with the surrounding so for the skin becomes a boundary for us and the area outside the boundary will be what surrounding that's now boundary can be real can be imaginary for example in this case the wall of the beaker is a boundary plus a hypothetical area around here. This is a hypothetical boundary. This is also a boundary. The surface of the beaker, that is also a boundary. Okay. So boundary can be an imaginary or boundary can be in real through boundary. Matter can exchange. If it is an imaginary boundary through boundary, energy can exchange. I will imaginary ho, ya real ho, energy to exchange ho sakti hai. Unless and until it is insulated. 
and boundary can be real boundary can be imaginary for example if i open the door of my room and if i go out move out of the room so i'll be outside the room so there will be an imaginary boundary if i open a door and there is no door but the opening of i or but the opening so that opening is nothing but a imaginary boundary and the walls of the room are nothing but the real boundaries so boundary can be real and can be imaginary okay but boundary aisa part hai jo system aur surrounding ko separate karta hai so first you need to remember ke what is system and what is surrounding okay now let's move ahead let's move on to the next concept that is types of system types of system so now system can be classified on the basis of on the basis of exchange of matter and energy and on the basis of phase so on the basis of say phase you will be aware of a homogeneous system or heterogeneous system homogeneous system forming one single phase for example solid in water heterogeneous system forming more than one phase for example oil in water but what about this ke type of system on the basis of exchange of matter and energy to hum hum the thermodynamics mein zyada interested isme hai exchange of matter and energy so depending upon this there will be three kind of system first will be called as open system then we have a closed system and then we have a isolated system so what is the meaning of what is the meaning of open system closed system and isolated system so we know that area outside the system is called as surrounding so if any system exchange listen to me carefully if it exchange energy and matter with the surrounding then it is called as open system energy and matter both for example you take a hot water in a beaker and don't cover it cover its surface leave it as it leave it open so what will happen those vapor and heat heat will any way any way heat is transferring from the walls of the beaker as well as it is moving out so heat is releasing that that hot water is releasing heat as well as the hot water vapors will come out of the beaker because the mouth of the beaker is open so at that point both energy and matter is exchanged with the surrounding because the area inside the beaker is system and outside the area is what surrounding so exchanging energy as well as matter to the system that is from to the surrounding that is called as a open system like human being human being is a open system we consume food we intake things from the surrounding we release heat okay we perspire we release water we release heat we excrete out the waste product so what we are doing we are basically exchanging matter and energy with the surrounding humko bhi garmi lagti hai thandi lagti hai heat loss heat gain hota hai yes and if there is a heat gain your body comes into a process to maintain a constant temperature that is by releasing heat through the pores of your skin via perspiration that is you release salt water that is the release of heat so if you do a lot of physical activity you start perspiring because your body after a physical activity your body uh, the pressure of the blood will increase the temperature of body will increase so the body has to maintain to a constant temperature so it releases out heat so a body we eat food we excrete out and so most easy example is okay when we breathe in air we consume oxygen which is a matter basically we release carbon dioxide after the respiration process in respiration process we release carbon dioxide that is also a matter so the basic idea of inhaling and exhaling is nothing but what exchanging matter with the surrounding so we exchange matter we exchange heat yeah, that is energy with the surrounding that is a reason human being also is a open open system so open system is that system which exchange what energy and matter with the surrounding what is a closed system a closed system is that which can exchange only and only and only energy but not matter for example you take that hot beaker and cover the mouth of the beaker with the lid then only heat can be exchanged but not the matter so water vapor bahar to nahi jayega heat bahar jayegi 
So that is a closed system. And you took that hot water, you take that hot water, you put in a thermos, you close the lid of the thermos, you put it there, the thermoflask. So what happens in that, the hot water will remain hot. So it is not releasing heat. It is not releasing matter. So that will be called as an isolated system. So we have three kinds of system. In case of open system, we can say in open system, there is a exchange of matter and energy okay. between what system and surrounding okay system and surrounding in case of closed system there will be only exchange of energy in isolated system no exchange of energy and matter and here for no matter is exchange. So you need to remember this important point. Okay, open system is that system which exchange energy and matter with the surrounding. Closed system is that system which can exchange only energy but not matter. That I give you an example. An isolated system is that you, you can the system is not exchanging matter as well as uh, energy with the surrounding. Like I give you an example, you put a hot water in thermos. But tell me, whichever thermos you have taken, can it keep the hot water for the entire year? You say no. So it means what? It means what? Okay, if you cannot, uh, if the thermos cannot keep that hot water the same temperature for a longer time, so there will be certain release of exchange of energy. So we can say that at that time, Okay, no system in this universe is perfectly isolated. No system in this world is perfectly isolated except one. And what is that? The universe itself. A universe, you have to make note of this point. A universe is an isolated system. Why it is an isolated system? Because universe is expanding. If it is expanding, there will be no boundary. If universe has no boundary, then there will be no exchange of, then there will be no surrounding. If there is no surrounding, then there will be no exchange of matter and energy with the surrounding. So that is the reason we say, na, in the first law, we can say that okay, the total amount of energy and matter in the universe always remain constant. Why it remains constant? Because it is not exchanging with any other thing outside the universe because universe is expanding. We didn't have any boundary for universe. So that is why we can say that entire energy and matter remain constant inside the universe. That is why we conclude that universe is an isolated system means not exchanging energy and matter with the surrounding because abhi tak ke uska boundary defined nahi hua. So surrounding se So that is why we come to this point ki universe is a isolated system. Okay, you have to remember this is the isolated part. And also you need to remember ke no system in the universe, inside the universe is perfectly isolated. So this is and human being is an open system. I remember that, okay? Living organisms are basically an open system. They can exchange energy and matter with the surrounding to live. So these are nothing but the type of system, okay? 